Good evening, dear President Dr. Alexander Pokanevich, Professor Tamara Kozimenko, Professor of the Department of Homeopathy, Professor Ella Gorova, Professor of Homeopathy, Professor George Vithulkas, <laughs> Rector Professor Lutmila Gerasimova, Vice Rector Professor Tamara Denisova. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to welcome you tonight, all of you, to this important ceremony, which is dedicated to the nomination of Professor George Vithulkas with the title of Honorary Professor of Kiev Medical University. The reason of all of us together here in Academy's walls is the solemn evening dedicated to the ceremony of conferring the title of Honorary Professor of Kyiv Medical University to Professor George Vitulkas, uh, one of the most well-known homeopathists in the world. The decision was made anonymously uh, by the members of Scientific Council of Kyiv Medical University on the 25th of October 2016 by taking into consideration the great contribution of, uh, of George Vitulkas to the development of homeopathy. Kyiv Medical University is one of the largest and oldest private medical university in the former Soviet countries, with about 2,800 students, 30 of them uh, are foreign nationals from 56 countries, and with more than 400 faculty staff members. We are confident in a long-term and fruitful cooperation between the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy and Kyiv Medical University in the field of promoting of complementary medicine and in many other areas to come. Taking into consideration all above mentioned, the Academic Council of Kyiv Medical University conferred the title of Honorary Professor of Kyiv Medical University to Professor George Vitulkas on 25th of October 2016 for the, his great achievements in classical homeopathy, high standard rating of homeopaths and contribution in development of medical knowledge. <laughs>
Before I start uh, my lecture, I want to thank President Dr. Alexander Pokanovic, Director Professor Boris Ivniev, Professor Tamara Kozimenko, <clears throat> and the Senate members of the Kiev Medical University for their decision to nominate me as honorary professor for their esteemed Kiev Medical University. Our times seem to be of the most interesting in the history of human sciences, but also the most aggressive in nature in all fields of human endeavors, including, including medical practices. Diseases are attacked in an aggressive way by more and more invasive drugs, upsetting deeper and deeper recesses of the human organisms. On the other side, there is homeopathy, which is a very mild, a very gentle healing power that is able to affect the human health in all its three levels of existence, mental, emotional, and physical, and can bring the whole organism into a state of more balanced conditions. It may even become the medicine of the future if we could ever imagine living in a world of peace. I feel that it is a great step forward for medical universities to include serious therapeutic modalities within their curriculum. Homeopathy is perhaps the most complete and the most effective of those in the area of complementary medicine. In this way, there is hope that one day the real picture of what is happening in medicine will become apparent. With homeopathy, we do not, we do not claim by any means to cure all diseases, but we observe through its correct application that we can offer a substantial amelioration in chronic diseases and in some cases a cure. We know our limitations and we are trying to define them even more precisely with scientific methods. My recent book, The Levels of Health, is an attempt to clarify this issue and define the limitations of homeopathy. We welcome constructive criticism and we will appreciate tremendously joint efforts in research with your esteemed university. We observe that lately the medical profession at large is turning a positive ear to the new knowledge that's coming from the side of integrated medicine. And this is very encouraging. We hope to work together 
in an amicable manner for further clarification of this great scope of ameliorating human suffering. And I hope and wish that our collaboration will be fruitful in adding a small stone in the huge building of medical sciences. Thank you. It seems to us that 50 years teaching of Professor Vitulkas can be divided in three, into three uh, periods. The first, from the first students in essence to opening the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy in Alonisus in 1995. The second, from 1995 to 2010. The third period started with the introduction of a learning platform seven years ago. This was a very important step which allowed many people to study classical homeopathy online, personally or in group. We would like to say that George Vitulkas is a great teacher because he explains, demonstrates and inspires. On behalf of global homeopathic community, I would like to thank you, Mr. Vitulkas, for your dedicated work and continuous effort with regard to development and popularization of homeopathic science within homeopaths and patients of all countries and continents. Thank you. Uh, nowadays, the Health Care Ministry of Russian Federation, the Federal Council and State Duma of the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation wholly support homeopathy in Russia. Professor Vitulkas has contributed enormously to the development of homeopathy in Russia. His profound knowledge of academic, methodological, and scientific healing work of classical homeopathy allowed him to spread the ideas of Samuel Hahnemann's homeopathy all over the world. In Tivash Republic, as a result of the mutual collaborations between the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy, the Postgraduate Doctors' Training Institute of Healthcare Ministry of Tevash Republic, the Center of Homeopathic Medicine in Chebaksari, and the Russian branch of the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy, 109 doctors have already been well trained over the relatively short time period of two years. So, now I would like to present Professor Vitulkas, this honorary certificate from the Health Care Ministry of the Tivash Republic for, for his significant contribution to the development and introduction of new educational programs, his high level of competence, and his great contribution to the training of competence Healthcare personnel of Chivashia. Dearest ladies and gentlemen, we are confident that this momentous experience today is only the very beginning of many wonderful opportunities for, spre for spreading effective classical homeopathy, the original homeopathy, in every corner of the beautiful country of Ukraine and also all over the rest of our world. Thank you for taking part in this momentum milestone with us.